Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, I'll be showing the part 2 of my Reolink 4 megapixel NVR PoE upgrade. If you haven't seen the first part of this video, I'll put the link in the description down below. So basically, I upgraded my old 720p PoE 4 channel system to the Reolink 4 megapixel PoE. And this time, I purchased the 8 channel NVR plus the 4 camera bundle. So I have another 4 cameras that I need to buy to complete the system. I went this route instead of purchasing the 8 channel and 8 camera bundle because I know that I needed at least one camera that has an adjustable zoom and I'll tell you why in a little bit. I also want to try out other type of cameras that Reolink offers like their dome cameras. So, on this second part of this surveillance camera upgrade, I bought two more cameras from Reolink and we will do a quick unboxing. First, we have the RLC 411 4 megapixel 2560 x 1440 bullet camera. It has a 4 times optical zoom with a motorized lens. It has a viewing angle from 36 degrees to 100 degrees. It has 36 infrared LEDs for night vision up to 100 feet. So what is inside the box? We have here a network cable, which I'm pretty sure it is too short for my needs. And some mounting screws and anchors. We have this waterproof lid. And we have some paperwork. A mounting template. A sticker. A disc and we have the camera itself it is definitely a longer camera as compared to the regular bullet cameras that came in the bundle pretty solid and it's made of metal definitely weatherproof we have a very focal lens and infrared LEDs and the back here are the wires time for installation I basically just need to take off the current camera and replace it with the RLC 411. And because it is a PoE or power over Ethernet camera, we just need to plug one Ethernet cable and that's it. Okay, why I needed a zoom camera? This particular camera will monitor my garage driveway, but also the road in front of the house. I can adjust the zoom so that it will be able to read license plates of any cars that will stop and park in the front. As you can see, a lot of cameras right now, especially the Wi-Fi cameras, have a wide field of view, usually from 100 to 180 degrees. It looks cool that you can see a lot through the camera, like my Ring floodlight cam for example. You can see basically at least the 5 houses in front of our house. And you can see the road up to the end of our street. It does, however, has a blind spot directly in the front of the house because of the oak tree. You could barely make out the color, make and model of the cars. Also because it has a wide angle lens, even if it is in the highest resolution and for a Wi-Fi it is only 1080p, you will not be able to read any license plates. If a situation arises that you need to identify a person in your cameras and if they are driving a car, the easiest and fastest way to identify them is to be able to give the police their license plates. So this is where the Reolink RLC 411 comes in. On the last Rings camera's footage, the city's utility truck is almost completely hidden by the oak tree. But with the Reolink camera, you know that it is a white Ford F-150 and zooming it in you will be able to clearly see the license plates now here are the other cars that have stopped in front of our house at different times of the day I could easily enlarge the video and I'll be able to see their license plates Here are some footage at night. Now 
even at night time and with the car's headlights on, you will be able to see the plates when you zoomed in. The zoom is motorized and can easily be adjusted via the app on the phone, on the network video recorder itself, or by the client software in your computer. It does need a few seconds to focus though after you zoom in or out. Please note though that the camera will not automatically zoom in if there is a car. I just need to find the right zoom that the camera will still show the driveway and I will still be able to read the license plates if I enlarge the video. Now here is the real link software in my PC. Now for the other camera, I bought the RLC 420 which is a dome camera and also a 4 megapixel 2560 by 1440 HD. It has 24 infrared LEDs for night vision and has an 80 degree wide viewing angle. This one is also all metal and is weatherproof. I chose this instead of the bullet camera version because I'm going to install this a bit lower than the other cameras. This cannot be easily grabbed onto like the bullet camera if anybody wants to vandalize and pull it down from the soffit. This camera overlooks the front door. I have it lower so that I have a better view of the person or persons at the door when they turn around. I have the audio recording turned on also. Now this is the test of the real links video and audio quality. Also I have a sticker here just making sure everybody knows that they're being recorded 24-7. Overall, the video quality of the Reolink cameras are pretty good. Same thing with the audio. I still need two more cameras to monitor the size of the house and this upgrade will be finished. It started cooling down here so it will be tolerable to get up into the attic to do the wirings. Night vision is decent and I was surprised that I'm able to read license plates at night even with the car's headlights on. I had this system for a month now and I noticed a couple of negative things. The video recorder's fan is pretty loud. Luckily I installed this in my living room area and not in a bedroom because this humming sound can be annoying. Also, you need to have a good Wi-Fi connection so as to be able to connect. If I turn off my Wi-Fi and use my phone's internet, I am not able to connect even if I have an LTE connection. This is one of the reasons I didn't set up notifications or motion detection with this setup. This is mostly a passive system and recording 24-7. I will only access it if I need more video footage aside from the notifications and recordings I get from my Wi-Fi cameras. That's it guys and thanks for watching. I'll link the cameras and any products I used in this video on the description down below. Give this video a like and hopefully you found this helpful. Subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this one and also about product reviews and occasional life hacks. Thank you.